you want to improve your health in a pretty easy way, I'm going to tell you how to do it. Uh, there was a study back in 2009, it was a Harvard study, that looked at preventable ways uh, to diminish your, your chance of dying early. So not smoking was one, not, not a huge surprise. Lowering blood pressure was another. But an another one, oh, not consuming trans fats was another. So this is something we've heard about for quite some time. Uh, but interestingly, they associated eating trans fats with about 82,000 deaths per year. But the factor I'm about to talk to you about had um, a correlation of deaths, preventable deaths of 83,000 a year. So uh, what we're going to discuss is omega-3 fatty acids. So these are the uh, what's called EPA and DHA that we get from fatty fish. And you can also eat what's called ALA, and uh, that's another type of acid that's in plant foods, so not in fish, not in animal foods, but in plant foods that your body can turn into EPA and DHA, uh, although the amount of ALA you have to eat to, to get the amount of EPA and DHA that you need, is it's more than a one-to-one, -one, so that's something to consider. But there's a great test called the omega-3 index test, and this, this is a blood test. And what I did was I just looked online uh, very quickly just before I sat down, and it's about $50 online, so not too bad. And this is a test that will give you a percentage, and 4% or less is considered low, 8% or more is, is kind of what you're going for. To give you an example, Japanese um, people who can, who normally, as just as part of their diet, eat fatty fish, they have an index of about 10-11%. And this is saving estimated several years um, off your life or expanding your longevity, whichever way you want to look at it. So if you have low, a low omega-3 index, uh, living less than, you know, a decade, six years less versus getting this index up to that 8% or more, extending your lifespan. So pretty pretty easy to do, uh, whether you like to eat the fatty fish or you supplement, which is what I do, because I just have trouble eating that much fish. Um, but either way, a good quality supplement of EPA and DHA, two grams is, is what you're going for. Now, everybody's a little different, so you'd want to test and see with what you're doing and what it's creating. Now, this omega-3 test, uh, it, it has, has about a 120-day window, right? So that's four months. So you want to be taking the supplement for a good four months before you do the test, unless you feel like, oh, I love salmon, I'm you know, I love sardines, and so I eat those fatty fish, and then you can get a baseline and, and see how you do from there. But uh, if you want to, if you know you don't consume too much, which many Americans do not, then take the supplement for about four months and then get your baseline and, and see where you are. And it's something I personally have done the last several years because I got my baseline and it wasn't as good as I needed it to be. So this is definitely something I, I practice as well. Uh, but it's a, a pretty easy addition to your diet, whether it's the addition of fatty fish or or just taking the supplement. But extending your lifespan, you know, five, six years is important. And mostly it's in the area, although EPA and DHA is really good for the brain, but but mostly the studies were done in the area of cardiovascular health. And um, they interestingly found that a low omega-3 index was on par with somebody who was a smoker as far as their risk of cardiovascular disease. So it's pretty profound because we know how terrible smoking is for us. And we tend to think of smoking and lung cancer. That takes many decades to develop. Um, but they were looking at the correlation of, as I said, heart disease, which is our number one killer. So easy thing to, to change in your diet. Let me know what your thoughts are or if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time.